Hey everyone, welcome to this week's wildlife vlog. As usual, Northern Virginia is a great place to find all different types of wildlife. Getting right into it, here you can see a rabbit grazing on some grass. Um, for such a common creature, I actually find this uh, animal to be quite interesting, especially its kind of creepy staring eye. Another interesting find, this great blue heron is undulating its oddly shaped tongue in and out of its mouth. Perhaps it's panting, birds do this sometimes to cool off just like dogs do, or similar. It might also have something stuck in its mouth or throat, you can just barely see a feather stuck on its tongue. And here's a toad I spotted in the undergrowth. Sometimes it amazes me how well certain amphibians can survive in dry environments like this dry leaf undergrowth. Actually, most of the animals I saw this week were invertebrates. If somebody could identify this caterpillar for me, I would greatly appreciate it. I was actually afraid to touch it because I thought it might be one of the poisonous varieties. It certainly has the bright colors and eye spots that scream, I'm poisonous, don't eat me. I would honestly like to know what sort of moth or butterfly this guy is going to change into, if it survives, obviously. One organism that probably won't be surviving is this inchworm. When I found it, it actually had eggs on it from a parasitoid wasp. Eventually, these eggs will hatch and eat the inchworm alive. In a way, it's like babies eating babies. It's disgusting, but that's the way nature is sometimes. As usual, all my walking through the undergrowth caused me to pick up some unexpected passengers. Here's a jumping spider I actually found on my camera as soon as I got inside my house. Some of the most interesting invertebrates I saw were at this outdoor fountain where all this algae had grown up because of the water there. Bees were actually swooping down to take water and bring it back to their nest. Perhaps they were even grazing on the algae, though I don't think honeybees graze on algae. Honestly, I don't know. Of course, I had to look at this algae under the microscope. When I put it under the microscope, I could just barely see microscopic cellular threads embedded in an extracellular matrix of some sort of mucus. Disgusting, but also interesting. Finally, I started up plant time lapses again. Interestingly, the late summer and early fall seems to be a very popular time for certain flowers to grow so I have a lot of different subjects to choose from. All right, that's it for this week. If you want to see more of my wildlife vlogs, check out the link to my YouTube channel below. Or you can see the link to my Instagram, where I post a lot of my photographs and some short clips from my travels outdoors. That's about it. Hope to see you guys next week.